All right, so this is the next part in showing how we can take metrics, gather metrics from Kafka, and route them into an InfluxDB, and then manage those metrics or view and create a dashboard for those metrics in Grafana. So in the previous one, we built a, we talked about the how this works, and we built a CP server, a Kafka broker that we deployed with a Jaloki agent that's exposed. And we saw that uh, when we hit, ha, ah, my bad. We saw that when we hit the endpoint, we could actually see the uh, web endpoint that actually was a web projection of the JMX beans. So now what we want to do is we want to configure Telegraph <clears throat> in a way that it can pick up the data from the Jaloki at rest endpoint and send it to InfluxDB. So I'm going to pull up the telegraph.conf here and go to the top of this. So when we deal with this, um, this telegraph.com, when we, we could either build a custom image here, which a lot of enterprises will do, or we can mount this telegraph.com file into um, the telegraph config file into the telegraph node. I actually did that here because I was tweaking the, um, I was tweaking this a lot, playing with the telegraph.com. How do you want to keep rebuilding images? So I just mounted it as a volume. But in the real world, you probably would build a new image for this. So let's look at telegraph.com. There's only three parts that manage manage to us. One is, in general, what's the polling interval for this agent? So this thing goes out and it polls all the areas that feed it data. <clears throat> and so then it can do it on a regular interval. And normally it's 10 seconds. We have 1,000. The metric batch size is 1,000 and the buffer limit is 10,000. On a three-node cluster, <clears throat> what we found is that in we would overrun by 7,000 metrics. So if we had a metric size of 10,000 and we were over by seven, that really meant 17, but we really want double of that, so that made it to 40. So the net of this is I size this for a three-node cluster. It, the or defaults would probably work fine for a single-node cluster. The other thing I did is I metrics, they're like statistical anyway. We don't need them every 10 seconds, which is the default. I probably should have made this 30 seconds, but it's really up to you what you want to do with it, right? So, um, and that's all this. And so you can do kind of whatever you want there. The next part of this that's important is we are going to put the output is going to be the influx DB in a Docker networked cluster brought up with Docker Compose. The host name actually gets picked up from the uh, Docker container. And so that's going to be called influx DB. And InfluxDB is exposed on port 8086. Um, because I'm doing this in Docker, none of these other apply. And the database name in Influx is going to be Telegraph. And this is super common standard config for Telegraph. And so now I'm going to look for the Jalokia plugin. All right. So the Jalokia input adapter for, um, for Telegraph is actually the actively managed one is now called Jalokia too. So we're going to prefix everything that is gathered on this input path is going to be Kafka dot because we could be gathering metrics from other parts of the system that are not Kafka. And I've only got one broker in this cluster and it's called broker. If you had three brokers, they'd probably be like broker one, broker two, and broker three. And I know that Jalokia is exposed on port 8778 and I know the URL is slash Jalokia. And if we come down in here, we can see a couple things. Um, the first one is we're going to generate Java metrics. So the JVM that Kafka Broker runs in already exposes metrics um, at the at the Java level, uh, Java metrics. So we're going to get the run what the runtime version is, what the garbage collector patterns are, what's the average thread count. So these will all be statistics, and you can see uh, the only one of these that is wild carded here is the garbage collector. So we're going to pick up all the garbage collection metrics, which will be like. Eden, short, you know, whatever the different gar garbage collector phases were statistics, those will all be gathered here. Uh, we're going to gather the controller metrics for the, so the Kafka controller is going to write metrics into a topic and those metrics, the way it's done, will actually get supposed as a, as a, um, as a JMX beam. Um, we have a couple others here. We have like what's happened, purgatory, some other pieces here. We're going to pick up the Kafka client. Here, we're going to pick up all the client IDs and all the types. So no matter what 
client IDs out there, if it generated more than one metric, we're going to pick them all up. This is how we end up with like 3,000 metrics. We start wildcarding. Uh, there's two here, topics and topic. So topic is the behavior, the topic behavior, the behavior of the topic subsystem for Kafka on each server. Um, I'm sorry, topics is the, <clears throat> is the broker topic metrics. The other one here is there will be actually a metric, a set of metrics for each topic. So we wildcard the name and we wildcard the topic and we're going to get the broker topic metrics. So this is sort of the top level topic metrics and this is the topic level topic metrics. And then we've got some network, uh, Kafka.network behavior. Uh, a lot of people really find these very interesting. We can look at the Kafka logs, like are we part what's the partition? So this is actually picking out partition behavior out of the Kafka logs. This is the cluster replication and partition behavior. Zookeeper posts its basic statistics. Um, in this case, the only thing I really looked for here was session expire listener for the type. And then there were a bunch of names in there. And you'll see that when we pull it up in the dashboard. And then um, I picked this up from a couple places. People wanted very specific average um, idle percent. For some reason, they wanted to see what was happening. And so I picked up these extra metrics. So this will be thousands of metrics, actually, that will be picked up in this. And when we, uh, I think I showed this a minute ago, when we bring up the metric cl cluster with Docker Compose, you can see that we're going to mount that count file in uh, into the cluster. So uh, do I really want to do this? I guess so. I have time six minutes too long. So if we look here, I actually can do Docker First of all, let's do a Docker. So you can see that the Confluent and Custer is actually up. And you can see I'm running my CP server, FreemanSoft CP server, which has the Deloki agent. That's why that all works. And then we're going to do Docker Compose. Dash F, Docker Compose, monitoring. Up. And that'll bring it up. And that will start gathering the statistics, and that's the end of this section.